Yeah, hey, what's happening? Uh, Jeff here. Uh, today, I kind of wanted to, to talk about uh, making riffs and my riff-making philosophy. Yeah, it's not really writing a riff. It's more like making a riff for sure, right? So um, what is a riff, first of all? A riff is a very uh, integral part of a song uh, that's uh, kind of leading off of a chord uh, uh, a little part that gets repeated that actually uh, makes the song iconic. Okay, it's very memorable. It's a it's a, a, a an iconic part of the song, uh, uh, and it's not long, but it's very memorable. Okay, so I like to delineate these things into three things. Right, a riff, a lick, and a lead. Okay, so a riff. For me, anyway, for me, anyway, a riff is kind of going off of a chord or starting a chord or starting a song uh, with a little guitar part uh, that becomes uh, very memorable and an integral part of the song. A lick is shorter, right? A lick is, sh for me, a lick is shorter. It can be two or three notes up and down the neck, uh, and that's it. So a, a lick is, for me, a lick is shorter. A lead or a solo is in a part of a song that's played over a particular chord progression that a, an artist does, a guitar player does, or, or I should say a musician does, uh, that's of his or her own creation. Uh, and sometimes it's spontaneous and quite long, uh, several bars long, uh, whereas a riff is not that. A riff is part of a chord. It can be an introduction. It could be uh, in, uh, a chorus intro, uh, but it's an iconic part of a song. Everybody knows riffs. <laughs> what riffs are, and I don't want to play them because I, I don't want to get docked with like copyright stuff and whatnot, but I can mention a few. Uh, Over the Hills and Far Away. Uh, there's My Sharona. Oh my gosh, and the list goes on. Uh, there's hundreds upon hundreds of cool riffs, uh, Back in Black, uh, what else, you know, uh, and I could keep going on forever. But the point is, how to make a riff, right? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's fascinating, it's fun and, and interesting to try to make uh, a good riff, right? Uh, so when I do that, basically, um, and I'm not going to do anything... Uh, incredibly massive right now. Uh, I'm not gonna like turn on some massive distortion and whatnot. Just as as long as people can hear what I'm doing, um, I may do that in the future. But I have another microphone actually going in. So for me, yeah, a riff is like that. Okay, it's part of a chord. Uh, it can be a dyad. Okay, it's kind of in a dyad in A. Part of a deconstructed bar chord almost. You know, from the triad. Uh, I love this dyad sound. I mean, this is it's a beautiful sound, right? with all the strings basically open, except these two. This is a D, uh, sorry, it's an A, and a D flat. Right, okay, so we've got that uh, dyad, right? Uh, and um, yeah, it's just basically that. So taking part of a chord, right? Something like that, going off of a, a dyad or a chord, a power chord uh, or a bar chord, or even from a scale too, right? This is one I uh, wrote several years ago. Everybody likes this one. And it's just a, basically an, an A, just the, the fifth and fourth string. I'm playing only, right, and a little hammer on and pull off, and 
uh, going into that G note right there. So that's kind of a cool riff that I've done in the past, you know. And uh, again, there's, there's millions of riffs that's, uh, in, in iconic songs uh, these days. But that's how I really go on uh, uh, creating riffs, yeah. Uh, it can be really fun. It can be challenging um, to, to get a good riff. Uh, my channel has a lot of riffs that I've come up with, you know, over the past year. Uh, I try to post, you know, um, uh, consistently once a week or so. Uh, but some of those riffs on my channel are going to be turned into songs. Some of them are making their way into songs, which I hope to share eventually. Uh, but that's my riff writing, riff making, I should say, philosophy. Something like that. Um, extending from a chord or extending from a scale. Um, eventually I'm going to get loud with that, uh, and, uh, but this is, this is just what I wanted to share today. Riff writing philosophy, riff making philosophy, go for it, try some riffs, and have fun. Okay, see you next time, thank you.